Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. Today, let's have some fun with fiberglass. All right, before we get started today, let me do a quick little recap. Uh, for those that have watched the last little four minute video or whatever that one was, it was a shorty. Um, for those of you that watched it, you saw the problem that I had. Yes, uh, it took me it took me a while to get the balsa and everything down to the size I wanted, and then I broke it. So, and it was a part that I couldn't fix. So, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take this almost dropped it. We're gonna take uh, this piece, what's remaining of it, and I've already got some pink foam already cut into the proximate size, glued to a piece of balsa. We're gonna try to go ahead and make this out of fiberglass and the, although it's not going to be solid fiberglass uh, it's just going to be a shell over the top and then i can just run some stringers of balsa on the sides just to go ahead and we've got something to go ahead and glue it to the tail of the stomp what we're going to do as you can see this is this is going to be what we're going to make the mold the mold the template the See, I'm thinking a mold being internal, external. We're gonna call let's just call it a mold. Um, and then we're just we're gonna wrap the top over the top of that in fiberglass. Uh, and then we'll just cut it to shape. So this is actually oversized. And what we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna come and I'm gonna use this and trace around the outside of it uh, just to give me some indicators on where it's gotta be sanded down to on this side as well as this side. Now, although you can see it's not quite this wooden, the balsa piece is a little bit proud of here. We're keeping this piece of balsa on the bottom. So, and when I get down over the top of that, it's just going to, so when it gets wrapped over the top, it's, I'm going to let it hang proud of the bottom. So that way we've got a little bit more to work with for trimming. So what I'll do is I'll come in and we'll set it up like this and I'll do a little trace around the outside on this side. And then we'll do the same thing down on this side on the bottom and then i'll draw lines and then it's time to sand i'm expecting the sanding to get this thing almost ready where it's going to be the right size for it to cover it should only take a, maybe one or two minutes of sanding um, and this kind of this kind of styrofoam don't sand forward and back on it just sand it in one direction if you go forward and back uh, you'll start tearing chunks out of it. And you don't want to do that. So I'll try to speed up the video so you can kind of get a decent idea of how I'm sanding this one. Um, but once I get the lines on, I'll bring it back, show you where the lines are at. And then I'm just going to just sit down looking like this. I'll put the camera down and I'm just going to be sanding away. Uh, and then once this is done, uh, we're going to cover it in... Uh, this is a uh, uh, Type Bond 3. It's in a little dispenser. I've had this thing for, for a number of years and little thing you can get them from uh i don't think you can get them from your local hobby stores but uh i got this from amazon and i am not sponsored it's no i'm just doing this just to show you what i got it's called a glue bot glu with the umlauts over the u uh, dash bot and they work great so that way once you're done using it you take the little cap put it over the top and put it back in the storage this thing's been full for probably about two years now and nothing is set up and it still flows out just like it was when I put it in there. And all right, just to, and it's rough. You can see where I've got it kind of circled, got the lines on the outside and up on the top. Those are my indicator marks on the top from where it's going to be. This is where, oh, let's just say I want to sand this too up to the top. So it's going to be a flat zone down the middle and then I could just blend that all together. And uh, it's on the top and the bottom. So I'll play a little bit of music while I'm sanding.
took three minutes and two seconds. I know that for sure, because that's what's on the camera. All right, so we've got the height pretty good on that one. And I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this. I do have the side profile set up very nicely. Now this part is thinner than the outside of this because we're putting probably two, two or three layers of uh, three quarter ounce fiberglass over the top of it. Um, so it is thinner because it's gonna fit exactly where this one sat. So um, I don't know how well you can see the tail because it's broken, but we have the height approximately the same size. So um, yeah, so I'm just gonna do a little fun, a little more sanding and then and you're just going to be off camera. I'm going to be putting probably three coats, maybe four coats of this on it. So it's just the drying time. I'll set it up in front of the heater and then uh, go run upstairs. I got other stuff I got to do because today's my day off. Um, so let me just go ahead. And as soon as this is all done, excuse me, I'll bring you guys back uh, just so you see what it looks like when it's ready to put uh, glass over the top of it. All right, it is ready to be covered. I've got it on another 3 8 block, and that's going to go down in the vise, and we're going to get it all set up and ready to cover. What I did was I used some, I was going to wax it, because uh, you can see the shine that's got on it. What that is, that's a mineral, excuse me, a silicone uh, oil that I put on there. Um, I'm hoping it's going to work out nicely, because what I'm going to do is the epoxy that I'm going to use because I'm completely out. I thought I had some 30 minute epoxy. I'm out, I've only got five minutes. So what I'm gonna do is thin the five minute with some 91% alcohol. It's what I use when I'm actually sealing the wood um, behind the motor. That way any any oils from the gasoline, gasoline and the oils, uh, if they hit the firewall, uh, it doesn't get absorbed into the wood. It just gets shedded off the outside, so it protects it. So uh, I'm just gonna give this a shot and hope it works. Uh, but you can see, it looks like it's ready to cover. That was about an eh, hour, hour and a half of uh, waiting for glue to dry. So, but it's set up. So let me get everything set up and I'll get the cameras rolling. All right, first of all, I did find my 30. Let's go ahead and let's mix up a batch and cross your fingers. It looks pretty old, but I think it's still gonna work nicely. I just want to make sure that when it gets mixed up it might want to set itself off a little bit. I'm just going to add a little touch. Eventually, there we go. Just a little touch of isopropyl. It's going to thin it out a little bit and hopefully it'll help it set off uh, much slower than normally. Because this thins it out pretty good. Somewhere, I have gloves that I must find. But my fingers are going to get dirty. Okay, that's sitting pretty good right now. Let me grab some gloves. I'll be right back. Alright, not the black ones I'm looking for, but the blue ones will work just as fine. They're just older. So as long as I don't get a blowout, I'll be happy. Now what I did do, I opted for, uh, I was starting to cut up the three quarter ounce uh, fiberglass, decided to just go with the same uh, coverall. It's, it's going to be about the same, it's a little bit thicker, and I think it's going to be easier to work with uh, than the fiberglass. It's, not fiberglass, but it still is a uh, polyethylene whatever kind of fabric, so it should work just fine. Just coating the outside so we can pull something up through the weave on our first pull over. That way the weave is getting saturated on the first compression.
right, well, hopefully. Hopefully the audio came out okay, because I see my other camera shut off. That's why I've got you on. Always have more. If you ever decide to have a YouTube channel, I always have at least two video cameras rolling. Especially when it comes down to doing stuff like this. And as you can see, I'm kind of babysitting. Um, it's not... I think it's got to do with the... Uh, what I put on. I should have used wax. Um, but as of right now, it's starting to tack up. It's probably, I haven't checked here. No, it's still, see that's what happens when you put uh, a little bit of isopropyl in it. It thins it out. The alcohol thins it out just a little bit. And that was just a very little bit I put in there. So right now I'm just kind of babysitting it because it was a little bit thinner than it should have been. Um, but it's all right, that's why I got the gloves on. So I'll just babysit this for about the next half hour before as soon as it starts to set up and not want to lift um, off the side of the mold. It's pretty much just back here on the on the tinier spot uh, where the side walls aren't that long. Um, so that's why I was kind of forcing it underneath on the bottom section where it curved under just to try to have more surface area to have it hold on to. So I'm just going to go ahead and babysit this. Hopefully in about, I don't know, a half hour, it'll be set up so I can walk away and let it dry for, uh, you know, several hours before I try to take it off. I'll bring you guys back.